Day after day in the media, we are bombarded with propaganda saying that what we need is growth. Economic growth is the answer to all your problems, apparently. What is this mania about growth really about? Well, I'll tell you what I think it's about. When they talk about growing the pie so everyone can have more, what they're really saying is that economic growth is good for the richest 1%, it's good for large corporations, and it's an excuse for not sharing their wealth with the rest of us, because allegedly we're all going to have more if the pie gets bigger. So what we in the Greens say is, let's stop talking about economic growth all the time. Let's talk about sharing the wealth that we already have. Because in a country like Britain, surely there's enough wealth already. If only we share it better, there's enough to go around if we make our society less insanely unequal, for example, through bringing in a wealth tax and a citizen's income, then we'll be able to have a society where we don't need economic growth anymore. And you know what? That's a good thing, because growth is coming to an end, like it or not. Infinite growth is an impossibility on a finite planet. That's actually just common sense. What's this new post-growth paradigm going to look like? Well, it's going to look a bit like this. The people in this market don't need endless economic growth. What they need is strong local economies and support for small businesses. That's exactly what the Green Party will deliver. Two minutes isn't long to talk about the post-growth paradigm. If you want more, check out my think tank, Greenhouse, and the book that we produce, The Post-Growth Project. That'll give you an idea of the background to this fundamental challenging green policy, a vital way of thinking about the new century that we are in.